Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be messing with the Light Field Wildlife Control Ammo uh, Extended Range Rubber Slug. Let's uh, see if I can get it into the... There we go. That's what it looks like. The, uh, the package has uh, what looks like an elk, a bear, and a dog. Um, I don't know if I'd use this against them. I think I'd rather just use a slug or uh, buckshot. But let's see... Here's what the shell looks like. Let me get around behind the camera. All right, that's what it looks like. It's just a giant rubber slug and a little ammo, a little uh, powder behind it. Uh, these are two and three quarter. So let's see how they do. Uh, first up, we're gonna shoot a block of clay. We have our block of clay here. Uh, this is soft clay, so it should uh, it should show what the impact looks like after the fact and I don't have to zoom in and slow down. I'm gonna put a piece of t-shirt material over it. It's Felicity's shirt. We won't tell her about this. We'll just wash it and pretend it never happened. So I'm gonna move back. Uh, let me read this. Uh, I, just, I wanted to read the back real quick to you. The Wildlife Control Extended Range Rubber Slug is a high velocity, low recoil load intended for close range use. Close range use and extended range, okay. The rubber projectile can cause serious injury or death, but greatly reduces the potential to over penetrate or injure others in the home. Okay, sounds like a standard uh, uh, a standard message. They had the same on the little HV star ones. Uh, so let's go ahead, I'm gonna move back about 10 feet and we're gonna shoot our rubber slug at this, uh, at this clay target and see what it looks like. Okay, so first up for our extended range uh, rubber slug, or as I keep calling it the blue slug thingy. Uh, I don't know why, I just can't ever remember the whole name. Uh, you, you'd think it would be easy to remember extended range uh, rubber slug, but apparently not. So we got it set up, we're gonna shoot our clay target. Um, we have some clay behind a t-shirt, uh, like we did with the, uh, the HB star rounds. Huh, it occurs to me, I don't know what order I'm gonna release these in, so. If uh, this one comes out first, I did another video with little star ball things. Uh, so let's go ahead and give it a shot. Uh, the t-shirt's Felicity's. Uh, let's, uh, oh, let's see what it looks like. All right, well, it was uh, low recoil. I hardly noticed any recoil at all. Um, for me, it's not much, but I do an awful lot of shooting, so I hardly notice recoil unless it's really bad. So let's go ahead and look at the high speed of the impact and see what that does. Uh, here's our result. Uh, there's a little hole right here, and I assume this is the, uh, oop, it's kind of stuck to the, melted to the shirt a little bit. I assume this is the, uh, the wad. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Ta-da! Oh, wow. Huh. That's, uh, yeah. That's a pretty big hole. Um, here's our slug. Oh, let me move over here. Sorry for all the grunting and groaning. My knees hurt. Uh, there's a piece of t-shirt material stuck on the end. Yeah, can you see it? I can't see it. It helps if I got it in frame. Yeah, there we go. Piece of t-shirt material. The slug is hollow. Yeah, let's put my hand behind it so it'll focus. Uh, but yeah, um, it's about that deep. Uh, compared to the size of the slug, so not quite two uh, slug links deep. Went almost all the way through our, uh, our piece of clay. Let me see if I can... Ah, let's move this over to the camera. Whoa. So, ah, there we go. Yeah, and there's another... Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it. I can't really tell with the lights right on the, the viewfinder. Uh, there's another piece of t-shirt material all the way in the back. Ah piece of t-shirt material all the way in the back but yeah that uh oh crap my 
plate's falling apart. Uh, man, that was that was actually pretty impressive. So uh, let's see what it does to a ow, freaking. Mm -hmm. I picked a bad spot today. They're pokey, sticky things. Uh, where we bush hog the field. Anyway, let's uh, let's see what it does to a watermelon, and we'll go from there. Let's go ahead and shoot the watermelon with the slug. Uh, before I look like too much of an idiot. I mean, it's the internet, so I'm in the right place. Uh, the big blue slug thingy versus the watermelon. Um, what do I think is going to happen? Let's do this before I shoot. Uh, I think it's going to really tear up the watermelon. Um, I give it about a 50-50 shot, shot of actually going through, considering how much damage it did to the clay. But let's, uh, let's see. Well, it definitely uh, did a lot of damage. All right. Ta-da! Here's our, uh, oh, see if you can see in there. It's way in there. I cannot see, oh, I cannot see the slug, but it, uh, it tore things up pretty good. Uh, let me, uh, here, let me snap this on the tripod and break this open so we can kind of see. Yeah. It like pulverized the watermelon. Uh oh, I don't know what these are. The uh, the wads in there. These are little. Uh, looks like little cardboard. Oh, there it is. Cardboard spacers. Ah! Let's get the watermelon over here so you can see it. There we go. Uh. Dang. The slug almost made it through. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm going to try and rip this open. Let's uh, cut a section. There we go. Uh, yeah, you can see that. It's uh, almost up against the other rind. Just, just a little bit extra. Here's the, uh, oh, I'm talking and it's not in the frame. It's almost against the other rind. Uh, there we go. Yeah, here's our uh, wad. So, yeah, that did an awful lot of damage for, uh, for a less than lethal round. I mean, it has, I guess it has a less chance of being... Hmm. Blue rubber slug versus... Uh, target cam. Blue rubber slug, uh, target view, uh, slow-mo cam. Yeah. All right, let's uh, yeah. move over a little bit. Uh, let's go ahead and shoot our uh, our uh, big blue rubber slug thingy. Uh, I have a target's eye view. I have a piece of bulletproof glass that should stop it. Um, it's level three glass, so it's rated for 44 magnums, so it should stop this with no problem. Um, hopefully it'll look cool as it compresses. We get a good shot of that. Um, if I miss my glass because it's just a sample and it's not very big, then uh, it'll just be a normal mirror shot that I've done plenty before. So let's go ahead and see what it does and see how it looks. All right. Looks like the impact knocked my glass off and into my mirror. I love the way these mirror shots look, but God, they're a pain in the butt to clean up. Okay, so I forgot about to do this uh, the first time I shot this video. Uh, I realized it in editing, so here we are again. I'm going to shoot the clay without 
uh, a t-shirt over it so we can see the reaction of the clay in slow-mo because that looks so stupid bug that looks so cool uh, with the uh, HV star thing so let's go ahead and try this uh, big rubber slug against the clay uh, I expect it'll do a lot of damage because that's just you know it's done a lot of damage to the watermelon let's check it out All right, let's go check out the damage. Here's our block of clay. Let's uh, let's zoom in here. Uh, yeah, so the rubber just kind of hit the clay, bounced back out. Um, I hope you can see it, but it left an impression right in here. Oop, right in here of the side of it. It's uh, actually down here. It bounced out and landed. Here's the slug. Ah. So, yeah. Um, I expected it would do a little more damage than that, but, you know, that's, that's still a pretty good hit on something solid like clay. So what's the conclusion here? Well, the package, here's the package. Uh, bills it as a wildlife control ammunition. Um, I, I'm not too sure. There's a prominent picture of a bear and what looks like an elk and a dog. Uh, it would probably be very effective against a dog. Um, against a bear, I don't know. It might be effective. Uh, I'm not sure if the bear wasn't already going to attack me, if it would dissuade it from doing so. Um, I, I would almost rather just fire a warning shot with a slug and you know if it doesn't stop then hit him with the live ammo um because yeah this might really just piss the bear off i don't know that it has enough energy to really uh, do much against a bear other than make it angry um i don't know much about elk there aren't any around here and there aren't any in you know central missouri so that's not really an issue for me um, it'd be effective against a dog um, if it wasn't you know, repeated hits might dissuade it. Otherwise, you know, if it was sick with rabies or something, maybe not. Uh, there are feral dogs that run around here occasionally. Uh, usually they end up getting adopted by somebody. So, uh, now if I wanted to use it against a person, I don't know if I would use it there either. Um, it would certainly be less lethal. It would almost certainly hurt. Um, but if it didn't stop them, you've just escalated the situation. And you better have something lethal back up just in case... You know they have a gun and start shooting so uh, i'm not sure i'd really use it for that but yeah it was certainly fun to play with um you know if you if you have a different thought on uh you know whether this will be more effective against bears or people than i think it would be you know by all means put them in the comments below uh, i love hearing what you guys think about this uh i, I have no idea what it would do medically because i'm not a doctor uh, and i have no intention of ever being one probably not smart enough. Uh, but yeah, if you like this video and want to see more like it, uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you think I did something wrong or have some feedback on, on what you think this would really work uh, against a person, put it in the comments below. Uh, take care, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Uh, today, I wanted to mess with some more... Uh, the, 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 I lost my brain. Of, I lost my brain of thought. Let's try this again. Extended range rubber slug intro. Okay, three, two, one.